Hey everyone, so it is day two of my party at DIYs. Um, yeah, and it's also four more days. Four more days before my birthday party, which is the whole reason for this. So my birthday party theme is a whimsical party, and it's my first year having a theme and having decorations and not having a party that is actually my dad's and my mom's. So it's really exciting. So I came up with the idea of um, doing a ooh a little signature type frame thing with um, scrapbook paper. And if you guys are wondering, there is a, I'm in front of a window and it's open, so it's making my hair look all modelish. <laughs> anyway, so um, what you're gonna need is a printed. A nice printed um, scrapbook paper this is a thinner paper and it's also got cherry blossoms and it's like this little paint like design and like kind of like fake texture and I really like it because um not only does the background color matches my room but also the uh, the flowers the cherry blossoms sakuras are my favorite flowers so super excited about that i got this at michael's and then you're gonna need a white scrapbook paper the white scrapbook papers tend to be a little bit thicker so i got this and then you're also going to need a burlap now my idea for this is that people are going to sign the white part and then i want to take a group picture print it out um and stick it onto here so i can always have it in my room and it'll just be a really nice memory so what i did was starting with this paper it actually comes with um it's actually a little bit bigger than this originally but it did have like um about two inch two inch at the bottom where it was completely white so i just cut that off and i decided that this was a pretty good size so i used this as a reference for the white paper and I actually cut off about an inch maybe an inch and a half on all four sides of this white paper now taking um I'm pretty sure this is a four by six picture that I already have <laughs> I'm obsessed with stuffed animals I took the burlap from um, scrapbook paper that I got from Joann's and I measured it out so gonna kind of look like this and besides that you're gonna need my favorite thing ever which is double-sided tape you're gonna need a hot glue gun you would need scissors if you hadn't already cut out everything like I did and for the hot glue gun you're gonna need hot glue sticks which I got a hundred pack from Joanne which is really great because I actually went through this, um went through hot glue sticks very fast Okay, so we're gonna start with the floral and the white sheet. Oof. Now the white sheet is kinda iffy. I did not cut this very well. So, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead and double side tape the white onto the floral because that would take a lot of hot glue and I don't want the back of the floral paper to get all icky and weird so we're just gonna double tie side tape this Now, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I will put a link right here. If you guys haven't already seen my first birthday DIY, I will put a link right here. Go ahead and check them out. It would mean the world to me if you could check them out, subscribe, and like the video. I will also put down my Instagram and my Twitter link down below please follow me because they do get like updates when it comes to my channel and guys 
just just go ahead and follow me on Twitter because I'm a loser and I only have like seven people on there. But I also just started using it. So my boyfriend's totally judging me right now. He's just like, how do you only have seven subscribers? Wait, followers. He's totally judging me right now. I can I see the look on his face. And guys, if you're like me and you're kind of bad at taping things, I know who could be bad at taping things. I am. I would recommend um the removable, repositionable double-sided tape because that's super easy to use. I just couldn't find any like refills for it, and I thought this was the refill for it, but no, it's actually a three-pack of double-sided tape like permanent double sided tape then after i do the corner like the four sides i'm gonna do an x in the middle to ensure that it is a okay okay so now the hard part where we center this God knows I am bad at it. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you can really tell, like, I cut this thing really badly. Oh, well. Or, I, I Maybe I just taped it wrong. Oh, well. <sighs> okay, so, last thing that you gotta do, besides put on... The, pa the picture, which I would recommend um, double-sided tape just because I feel like a hot glue gun will kind of like disturb the ink on the picture. So we're going to use the hot glue gun to paste this. And the reason why is because the white paper is a lot more um, thicker. So it will take to the hot glue gun a lot better. So I'm just going to... Do whatever I like. So, you know what? I need more hot glue. Hey. like just have your friend sign back here I'm actually gonna get a frame I might have to get a custom frame just because I don't know if they have the size of this but after that you just have to glue glue on your picture and it's just a really cute really simple DIY for you to hold on to your memories with and yeah so I will see you guys tomorrow for day three of birthday DIYs I will be doing a DIY coaster um, that you guys can give as um, freebies to your friends. I think it's such a cute idea and it really does go well with my whole whimsical theme. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!